No, sir, no. It's not easy to get your GMC approved like this. You have to admit, Google is now becoming strict, strict and more stricter, specifically with the compliance and guidelines. One day we saw that for the location, identity verification things became difficult and you have to provide a video. Similarly, you know, a lot of things have been changed over the years because we have been restoring Google Merchant Center account for years and we have been managing Google Ads account for years and we know that how the industry has evolved and now it's one of the toughest time to get your Google Merchant Center account approved. And I'm here with a approval case study in recent times. Just to let you know that we are a full-fledged Google Merchant Center and Google Ads partner agency and we help clients with web development solutions, SEO solutions, Google Ads, Meta Ads, Bing Ads, and Google Merchant Center Management Solutions, and specific, especially the restoration service as well. So this is another successful case study, and I'm going to open in front of you the website. But no, sir, no. This is not something you need to look because started from very difficult times, took us a lot of time to get it approved to a position like where, you know, we can see this is an approved. I will show you the approved account later on in sites, but right now I'm going to start with the case study. And let's start from the beginning. This is the beginning. This is the beginning where they had this error, fix all setup policies and issues that prevent your product from showing on Google. See more insights. They had around 1,000, 1,150 11, products. They were previously working and went into not approved because Google is now becoming more strict. Suspended account for policy violation, you may see over here. This is another error. And the error says misrepresentation in Belgium and Netherlands. Another over here, you, see, you may see it's a pinpoint uh, suspension. So we started from here. Okay. Whenever there is a case like this, what we do is we look for multiple things. We sort out Google Search Console error. We do a simultaneous chat with Google Merchant Center support and team to help uh, restore the Google Merchant Center account and what issues the Google uh, chat says on this. Plus, we work on our, on our own experience. We have created our own checklist, 160 plus steps, and we'll still learn something new once in a while or probably in a week. So. Here we go to audits. Let me show you a few audits to tell you. So th these are one of the audits, you know, I'm just sharing with you. Here you may see that the website lacks a social media. We also suggested adding, uh, highlighting the headlines. For instance, the shop name is not highlighted. We suggested uh, removing this line below the uh, about us link on the website. Do not open multiple topics on the same topic. This simple thing create confusion and will not increase the response time to your ticket but will actually decrease it so kind of threatening to customers which is why we remove this line suggested to remove we also suggested uh, optimization that track your order page we suggested adding a contact section so that people when they are hesitant regarding the product uh, uh, delivery they can either call or email you so the contact details need to be mentioned on the track your order page plus the shipping policy is not recommended to target two uh, countries from one website and the cutoff time to be written and in the landing page collection uh, menu products are found so this needs an optimization the categories need to be organized on the website so this is another uh, audit another day another audit done by multiple team members so i'm just you know showing you the important things over here so this needs an optimization plus we suggested adding small fact frequently asked question section and take it after the banner this image need to be unique, product descriptions, images, all need to be unique. For the footer, we suggested change the link of the collection and uh, some minor changes every day, you know, the team was making. Um, make it policy page optimization, some small details, some small alignment issues. For instance, in the contact us page, you may see over here, contact us via, we suggested removing this line, contact us via. The social media need to be correctly linked. The email address on the social media should match with the contact us page and should both of the email address should not to be of a public email like a Gmail but rather of your own domain. For the about us page, 
we removed uh, uh, the contact fag and discover our products links su suggested and the collection page is a small optimization another product which was suggested uh, to be removed by the google team we suggested removed it we said that we can add later on but right now we have to remove it same over here so like uh, the here the optimization need to be done and this is a checklist kind of the things need to be done small fact was done take it off the banner this was done the image was uh, overlapping it was sorted around footer had a link chain the collection was sorted removed given a style was done small changes policies everything you know all small small things were done but the story doesn't end over here okay so so this is the image i'm going to talk later on so let's start with further on the audits in the main menu kitchen utensils and dining are same as same products in the area so this needs to be separated we suggested adding product review section fabricon was also suggested about us need to have a history suggested we again we suggested recommending one country to be targeted in one gmc another gmc for another country different shipping time was found this actually gets confusion i have seen many cases where the different shipping time the different time zone are being confused so which is why i strongly recommend having a one country some dead links were also over there which suggested need to be removed the email address need to be clickable in the facts section the track your order page has a placeholder issue now placeholder is a common error error and the google do not accept website with placeholder issues the placeholder can be found in your contact us page track your order page or anywhere where the form is specifically these are the most common areas but again it can be found anywhere so the placeholder need to be removed about us page uh, again these things will need to be removed return and refund right return and refund over here some need an optimization basic optimization over there as well shipping policy page track your package uh, track your package link was clickable the answer was uh, misleading over there because we were so we need to rather come up with a single statement of 10 to 13 days rather confusing the customer with 1 to 3 business and 8 to 10 business days and the questions in metallic make them straight so you see over here the question is metallic the answer is normal so this font need to be changed font style the page speed need an optimization the web page speed was quite low this need to be sorted out newsletter was suggested being added disclaimer pages some small things need to be added some small small errors dead links speed links you see you may see over here a lot of dead links were being found by our, our team we had to sort those the placeholder was still over there need to be sorted around i mean small errors i'm just showing you were you know a lot of discussion a lot of communication was done with the client to have around these things sorted around apart from this i'm going to show you a few of the charts as well this was a rejection you know yeah, unfortunately your products can cannot be displayed to customers and for the google found an issue with your account so you may see over here that we got rejections too so the patience is the key over here to get it restored this is a google search console profile where there were pending links which need to be sorted around and they were failed and uh, we suggested uh, doing disagree with the uh, issue after uh, several consultation i will show you as well regarding that Uh, again again this is a 404 no error on the google search console over here you may see is no issues are found for this account also i may need a uh, guarantee however the last view of the account was last june 29 it study september 2025 so you may see over here a lot of time has been for the communication for so just this is the site verification done for the google search console google much center account another team member said mohsin i have checked this account and as per your request as of now i have completed all the checks regarding the concerned issue 
and everything appears to be working perfectly fine. However, however, it requires more detailed troubleshooting. To get further insights, I request you to please allow me to take the case offline and get it checked with a wider team. I will follow up with you via email in the next 24 to 48 business hours with an update from the team. So you, you may see over here that we often get uh, wider team requests as well, which were failed a lot of times. So you may see over here, it came to a point where the account has uh, no longer has reviews option. This is due to multiple rejections. And then at that moment, we had to provide them an alternate account. Yes, we do provide Google Merchant Center accounts as well. Some pages were also being blocked by robots.txt that need to be sorted in Search Console. And after all of these changes and a long patience, they come a good time. I will show you the good times. This is an approved account. Let's start with the one email because we were also connected with wider team review. So you may see over here that uh, another team member has a Thank you for contacting Google Ad Support. It was a pleasure assisting you with various concerns of multiple merchant center accounts. I, because we are working on multiple projects and you know, uh, I apologize for the inconvenience brought about these issues, but I appreciate you for allowing us time to check the accounts. To begin with, I would like to update you with the merchant center account for Revenue After a careful re-evaluation by our wider team, I am pleased to inform that the account suspension is now lifted. Your 460 products are now active, but please allow the system 24 to 48 hours to synchronize and start serving your products accordingly. Compliance is essential for the protection of our users and the long-term running of your merchant center account. To read more, follow the guidelines. So we, you may see over here. And uh, this was not approved and now approved. Image, I will show you the live account. Another is this one over here. So you see over here, dear Google Maps Center account, the, uh, the requested review of Missy presentation has been completed and the issue no longer appears in your Maps Center account. So you may see over here, this is a perfect approval. Now I'm going to show you the account. Make myself bigger so you can long remember face as well. Because whenever you need a Google Ads or Google Maps Center, any service, you need to remember a face. So the products are now approved. I'm going to show you the product section over here. So you may see the products were, this, were went into the approval, then went into the state of list approval over here, and we got it approved on 29 September, today is 30 September 2025. So products are now approved. So you may see over here, the products are now approved. If I move over to the need, uh, needs attention page to see if there is a, there is small thing. So let's see with that, that the Google account need to be connected. But don't you worry. Sometimes people think that, oh, if I connect my Google Ads account, this may cause you know, trouble. But no, but this is not the scenario over here because this is approved by the wider team. I'm going to show you again as well. Oh, sorry. You may see over here, this is the wider team approval as well for the account suspension is lifted. You can see the data as well. And over here, you can see this is an approval and this is also the done by the, as per the request of the wider team was also done by the Google support for the request review. So yeah, this is a manual approval case and this is another successful Google Merchant Center case study. And we help clients like you, yours, to restore their Google Merchant Center account or provide you help with Google Ads management, Google Merchant Center management. We also help clients with uh, creating websites, be it on any platform. We are a full-fledged marketing agency. And if you want either a service as a Google partner, we would love to help you. <coughs> I hope you like the case study. But in case if you want our services, you can hire me and my team through the link in the description on the first comment of this video. We also help clients with Google Ads disapprovals as well, Google Ads management, obviously. So in case if you need either of the service or in case if you have any custom request, you are more than welcome to reach out and me and my team will love to help you. The links are available in the first comment of this video, the description of this video to reach with us. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.